for today, YouTube viewers. I'm here to show you Dungeon Hunter Alliance. It's one of the biggest um, multiple player online games which you can team up with other people from any, any country, Canada, Japan, you know, all those other places, United States. This is a pretty cool game. Um, as I can give you a heads up on stuff, my cl I am a warrior class. From the beginning of the game, you're giving the option of three classes. A warrior class, a rogue class, and a mage class. You can pick whatever class you want. Each class will have their own unique abilities and own stats. A warrior class specializes in strength, as a mage specializes in energy, as a rogue specializes in um, in DEX. As you can see, my warrior is level 60, with 1,812 hit points. Mana points is 507. His strength is 70, of course. Um, his DEX is 67, his endurance is 44, and his energy is 47. Wait, did I say 47 for it? endurance? I'm at 44, just in case I did say that. Um, well, on your stats game, you press the box on your stats. If you're a warrior or any whatever class, it shows you offense power. HRM Dem is 187 to 269. Critical chance 9.7%. Skill power bonus 30. Armor is 2084. Block is 33.1%. Dodge is 6.9%. Damage reducer is 203. Magic resistance 60. For weapon skill damage bonuses, for like maybe a short dagger, 67. For a, like a sword type is 82, for like a, I think an axe is 82, and a like a mage like one of those um, clubs 82, and a staff 23, and an arrow born arrows 50. HP rejuvenation is 36.1, while MP rejuvenation is 23.8. HP per kill and MP per kill are both zero. Kill finding is 28%, treasure finding 21%. As you can see. I'm equipped it with good um, equipment and gear. As you can know, this is on on hero mode right now. Uh, I'll be doing the legendary mode later on uh, once I get through it all. Uh, I don't want to spoil you know, a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna show you the ending. Well, the ending's probably kind of spoiling it for you guys who haven't played it, but it kind of gives you a good heads up. And as for skills, leadership, which is 7, my guardian defense is level 5, large pouch is level 4, my vengeful era is um, 5, heavy um, lifter is a 10, um, faster mobilism is 4, weapon specialist 2, spinning charge 4, um, bloody blood weight rage is 4, um, Hardless is six, and investigating aura five. Those are the main skills I have and I've been using. As you can see, I have different fairies powers: the power of lightning, the power of air, the power of water, and the power of earth, and the power of fire. I can only use one at a time. I choose the fire fairy because the fire fairy pretty looks pretty cool among the other fairies, but. But all their effects do come in handy during some parts. As you can see, I already completed all the quests. I would have done the quests as um, a recording, but I weather save you guys the tr you know the travel and just show you the ending. Um, normally I don't do um, like game playthroughs on these kind of games, but I might as well start doing some on different games. You know. I won't do completely through the whole game like other people do, but I'll do some parts of it. Um, I'll do like maybe some special scenes of parts. Well, right now I'm going to do the battle part for you guys. Um, the final boss in this um, game. 
on if you were to play this in the hero mode online, the enemies will get stronger. But if you play it by yourself online, it's still the same thing like in without going online. The more team members you have, the stronger your opponents grow. But even if they did get strong, you still will win. But in legendary mode, it's a different whole story. They get even more powerful in there. I'm gonna, hope, I'm gonna hope you guys enjoy this really well. As you can see, I have all the potions I need. Um, oh yeah, before I do start, um, if you guys ever need help and want to team up with me on here, I do have other two cl um, classes I'm gonna be starting after I get my warrior to level 75, mage and rogue. I have made them. One of them is at level one. One of them is at level two. But I haven't had time because I'm, you know, kind of busy a little bit. But anyway, let's get on with the fight. You fight first um, five generals you have to defeat before you fight the final boss. Pretty interesting, though. Darkwing says, have you come to bow down to me? No, I have come to kill you. Direct into the point. But I'm afraid my generals won't allow you to kill me. Ha, huh. you ready to knock those guys around. Indeed, but now they will band together to fight you as one. Experience the true power of chaos. I would do different voices, but I'm not going to waste my time. Just get to the point, you know. As you can see, I killed the first one with ease. On hero mode or religion, you should, well, special on hero, you should be able to kill them around at level 60 without any issue problems. If you have, if you use a potion, it, well, it just means you still have a long way to go to be truly strong. Anyway, then it's just you and me now. We could forget all this and just um, pick where we left off. No, this is the end now. Why not join me, my love? You being devoted by the shadows soon enough. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I mean, devoured by the shadows soon enough, anyway. With the barriers between both worlds broken, soon everything. We can roll it all together. No, you. No, your kingdom of darkness ends here. So be it. Of course, she's powerful. in hero mode, but not really powerful in Deadly. If you guys like this, you guys can definitely make use of the skill here. It's a very handy skill to take on multiple enemies. Or you can use the crippling strike, which is more effective on bosses like this. As you can see, I already beat her. This is not defeat. This is the beginning of the end. You call me forth. You took the dark ritual into your own hands. You sought me out. You are drawn to me. I am your life, and I will bring you de your death. I will make you suffer. I shall elish every little death you feel. As it makes me stronger and more powerful than ever before. <laughs> So you see, I'll put the file into 8 so you won't just step in my face because you know, there's no talking at all. I won't bore you with me talking this through the battle. See, I defeated her.
it's it's over. The queen, the dark fairy is gone. You have our eternal thanks. And you can ever sure that she'll never return. We can close the gate between the worlds and seal the darkness away. Celestial, I've done Alright guys, huh, screen server came on. That's why I stopped uh, reading. Um, the future of the kingdom is on certain now, but Leon, Leone is dead. The darkness is gone, and now it's up to the people of <clears throat> Gothers to find their own way. I'm not trying to pronounce that, sorry guys. You have to release me. I know, just tell me when you're ready to cross over to the fairy realm. One last look. Okay guys, when you beat her, you can get um, really good powerful items. As long as your, you know, your gold and treasure finds really high up. And then you have two more treasure chests to open up from here. Um, these contain the legendary um, equipment like armor, shield, and stuff. But you know, if if you can have them transmitted automatically, if they're not gold, it's better. It's best to have the gold, um, gold, um, gold thing, like you know, the gold version of the armor. I'll show you really quick. Like I have legendary, so it has all the abilities. You know, keep doing it until you, you know, sought um, sought out the right abilities. There, there's different abilities. A multiple legend blade, like legend blade. This is the one-handed legend sword. It has, I meant legendary sword. It has multiple different effects. You just gotta keep beating her, see whatever effects are to your likings. See, and then there's a two-handed version of it, but it's just like more larger and all. And plus, there's like a legendary staff too. Two, I have two of them, which are pretty different in abilities. Like the auction shield, um, that's the legendary. It's, it's just not called legendary, but you know it is. Um, sage, um, well that one you you won't you can't get it in this, but you can get it um, in legendary mode once you beat the heart, you know the hero mode. And yeah, crystal armor is pretty good too. Uh, some of the equipment is pretty good, but anyway, let's continue onward. Okay, I am ready. The dark fairy has been cleaned from the body she once claimed, releasing the king from the obligation to the land of the living. With the darkness gone, the people of Gothicus are free to follow the light. Passing into the fairy realm, the king can only hope that they will find the path. So, congratulations, you have completed the Hero Difficulty Mode. Legendary Kuma has been unlocked for this character. Of course, you have to beat it for your character to get Legendary Mode unlocked. And even though beating it, your other two characters won't get Legendary Mode unless you beat the game with them in the Hero Mode first. And sorry about the lighting, guys. I know it's kind of bright on... It looks okay here on the TV, but, you know, it's kind of bright. I have to get a better camera. And then after that, you know, it saves and, you know, stuff. Well, that's all I have for you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks and...